Chulo and I'm here to help you guys make your takeaway favourites. Here at Badoo, we're raising £30,000 to provide 300 families with a holiday hamper this December. We need your help to help us raise the funds, so this is why we're doing a Badoo takeaway. So today, we're going to make sweet and sour chicken. So just going to go through the ingredients quickly. We're going to need some pineapple juice, bell peppers, onion, bacon powder, corn flour, aka corn starch, white vinegar, tomato ketchup, which <laughs> I said about that. Soy sauce, if you have light soy sauce, have light and dark, um, but I've only got dark, so I'm using dark. <coughs> some flour, and you'll also need your meat. You're gonna take your Dice up chicken, add your seasoning. So I've added a mixture of salt and pepper, all purpose, and a bit of garlic powder. Mix it together, and I'm gonna leave it to the side. Now we're going to make the sauce. Um, I'm doing this in a bowl rather than on the pot. So, going to add a lot of sugar. Then I'm gonna add um, five table, mm, about four tablespoons of um, tomato ketchup. You can always add later, so not to worry. Then you're going to add um, one tablespoon of vinegar. We're going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. Again, you can use light if you have it. I've only got dark, so that's what I'm using. Now we're going to add some pineapple juice. I'm going to add about two tablespoons. <laughs> Then you can either use your um, spoon. I've also got a little whisk. It's from the hand blender. But that is your soy sauce. Your soy sauce, your sweet and sour sauce. Um, taste it as well. Taste it along to see if you like the flavor. Add what you need to. Most of you probably would have had sweet and sour chicken takeaway. So you'll know how you expect it to taste. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop some peppers. So we've got a beautiful rainbow of oh, peppers. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the onion. And then that is it for the veg. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the batter for the chicken, fry the chicken, put it all together, and then we got some sweet and sour chicken. So now you've let the chicken sit for about 20 minutes or so. It's not the end of the world, but it is an important step so you've got the chicken now we're going to add three tablespoons of plain flour and then i'm going to add um, two tablespoons of corn starch perfect and then a little bit of water and i'll mix it again do you know i forgot don't forget the table. The table, the, um, the baking powder. Put in um, a teaspoon. So you want it to stick, but you also want it to coat. This is like a mixture of like a dough. You wanna make something with a dough and um, the chicken is random here, but that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the oil. Um, so it's already heated, I'm going to now put it in the oil. So you're going to take the chicken. So if you kind of do them in um, stages, so do half of them first and then the other half later. the chopped up veg and slowly pop them in. If you leave that to crisp for a little bit, I'm going to add a bit of salt, pepper and a bit of all purpose and salt. Leave the oven for about three minutes. And next what you're going to do is you're going to add the beautiful sweet and sour sauce that you made earlier. So 
you're gonna do is you're gonna let it bubble up for about two minutes. When you start to see it bubbling in that cool sauce, you're then gonna add in your chicken. What I've done is I'm adding in a little bit more soy sauce. Nice and bubbly, you see that? Perfect, that's telling us it's time for some chicken. So what I'll do, so I'll take the same spoon and I'll slowly pour it in, or try and do this in just the same. I'll just slowly pop them in. I'm gonna let it bubble in for just a little bit, but this is dirty. I'm gonna get the sauce to seep in a little bit more. So you have it, that's your sweet and sour chicken and egg fried rice. Thank you for making a video takeaway here with us today. I hope you guys loved it and enjoyed it. Please make sure you share it and also let us know how you